Hi again, everyone. Welcome back to Conversational English. We're still in Unit 5 with Lesson 14. Have you decided what you'd like? 好,各位同学,我们今天来进入第十四课,那么主题呢,就是你决定好你想要什么了吗? And now let's take a look at our lesson preview. The Hudsons begin packing for their trip to Hong Kong. Surprise visitors to their home help them with the packing. 好,那么各位同学呢,我们今天的课程呢,主要大纲要来讲到的就是哈森夫妇他们已经为了要去香港的这个旅行呢,开始在打包了。但是今天呢,比较特别的是家里面有两位特别的小访客来了,到底是谁
Now it's time for part three, words and phrases. Our first vocabulary item is pack, pack. 打包 Mom packed away our summer clothes and took out our winter clothes from the attic. 妈妈把我们夏天穿的衣服打包，并且把冬衣从阁楼拿出来。Babysit, babysit. 当保姆，顾小孩。A good job for high school students is to babysit the children of working adults. 当保姆呢，帮上班族的家长来顾小孩，对高中生来说是很好的工作。Nephew, nephew. 外甥。Our brothers and sisters' sons are our nephews. 外甥是指我们的兄弟或姐妹的孩子。Suitcase, suitcase. 行李箱。The weight limit on suitcases checked in for a flight is usually twenty kilograms for economy class. 经济舱旅客的行李箱重量的限制通常是二十公斤。Souvenir, souvenir. 纪念品 I always buy souvenirs of the places I visit to help me keep fond memories of my travels. 去旅游的时候，我都一定会买纪念品来纪念我的旅行 Yacht, yacht. 游艇 The most expensive and beautiful private boats are yachts, available to only the very wealthy. 只有非常富有的人才能买得起最贵也最美丽的一种船，就是游艇。Model, model. 模型。Gary built and painted more than a dozen. Wood models of his favorite dinosaurs. Gary 组装并彩绘了数十个他最喜欢的恐龙模型 Phew. 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 There, we finished cleaning up the whole basement. Phew. That was a lot of work, but it's well worth it. 好了。我们终于打扫完整间地下室了，哦，事情还真多，不过是值得的。For a moment there. For a moment there. 刚刚。Janice just finished typing up our report for the boss. For a moment there, I thought we might miss the deadline. 珍妮斯才刚刚打完要上呈给老板的报告，哦，我刚刚以为我们要错过截止的期限了呢。First aid kit. First aid kit. 急救包。Dad keeps a first aid kit in the car glove compartment in case someone gets hurt while away from home. 爸爸在车上的置物箱放了一个急救包，以防我们外出的时候有人受伤。Toiletries kit. Toiletries kit. 盥洗包。Always pack and resupply a toiletries kit before traveling, and keep it in your suitcase. 旅游之前记得要补充盥洗包里面的东西，并且放进你的行李箱。Cut, cut. 切。Charlie wasn't careful while cutting the turkey and cut himself on his hand. 查理在切火鸡的时候一不小心切到了自己的手。
a word about cut. Here we've used it as a verb, but if you cut yourself, that's the verb, it will leave a cut. So the same word is also used as the noun for the wound made from a cut. That's right. 所以呢，这里呢，布鲁斯老师补充的是说，这个 cut 当动词的话，就是指切到。那有时候我们讲说，切到自己的手，在手上就会留下一个切口，一个伤口。那个呢，在名词也可以叫做 a cut， 就是名词的这个切口、伤口的意思。那等同于刚刚呢，布鲁斯老师讲到的另外一个字叫做 wound。Can we spell that, please? Oh, sure. W O U N D. W O U N D. Wound. Is not necessarily a cut. It is any damage or hurt to the body. 没错，所以这里的 wound 它可以是指各式各样的伤口。那其中的一种当然就是指你切到的那个切伤的地方。Mm. Okay, let's continue. By accident. By accident. 意外的。Dad added his new black T-shirt to the laundry by accident. And the white laundry all came out gray. 爸爸意外地把新买的黑色 T-shirt 丢进了洗衣机中，结果所有的白色衣物都被染灰了。Cosmetics kit. Cosmetics kit. 化妆包。Laura kept a cosmetics kit in her desk drawer at work, so she wouldn't have to carry her makeup around with her. 罗拉在工作桌的抽屉里头放了她的化妆包，所以就不用把化妆品带来带去的。A word here about the word kit. We just had three different kinds of kit, and the idea of kit it's not the shape of something; it refers to a collection of similar items to help you do something. Cosmetics kit helps you to make up. First aid kit helps you to Protect yourself, or to、uh, take care of a cut or another kind of wound. So, kit doesn't refer to the shape like a box or something like that. It refers to a collection of similar items that helps you to do the same purpose. Hmm. 好，这里补充的是 K I T kit 这一个字啊，因为我们刚刚听到的已经我们学到了有化妆包、盥洗包以及急救包。那么，所以这个包的概念呢，刚刚布鲁斯老师提醒大家，这个 kit 它不是指一定是一个包啊，或者一个箱或者一个盒，不是，它指的是说呢，为了要做某一件事情，所有相关的一些工具呢，全部通通收集合在某一个地方这样的概念。所以刚刚会听到有一个 collection 这个字，就是把所有相关的工具呢，它全部集中在。一块这样子的一个概念就叫做 kit。嗯，呃 ，sewing kit would be another one. S e w i n g sewing kit will have the needle, the thread, the thing to put over your thumb to protect it, and so on. 也就是缝纫包的意思啊。Oh. Okay, let's go on. Wrinkle, wrinkle. 皱、so.。Before hanging up your laundry, shake the clothing a few times so it won't get wrinkled. 晾衣服之前，把衣服甩一甩，才不会皱皱的。Here you go. Here you go. 给你。Please pass me that folder on my desk. Here you go. Is there anything else you need? 请把我桌上的文件夹给我。来，给你，还需要其他的东西吗 ？Document. Document. 文件。Important identification and travel documents should be kept in a dry, safe place at home. 重要的身份文件和旅游文件呢，应该放在家里头干燥且安全的地方。Folder. Folder. 文件夹 Mr. Parsons required his composition students to keep all their works in a folder and bring it to each class. Parson 先生要求他的学生把所有的作业都放到文件夹中，并且每一堂课都带到课堂上来。
carry-on bag. Carry-on bag. 登机箱. On this airline, business class passengers are allowed to bring aboard two carry-on bags. 这家航空公司允许商务舱的乘客携带两个登机箱来上飞机. Purse, purse. 皮包. Juliet keeps her change, keys, and makeup in her purse, and her bills and credit cards in her wallet. Juliet把她零钱、钥匙和化妆品放在皮包里。而把钞票和信用卡收在皮夹里. Set aside. Set aside. 放什么在一边? Vernon set aside his computer on his desk so he could fill out the documents with a pen. 维农把电脑放在桌子的一边,以便用笔来填写文件。Stay over. Stay over. 过夜. Marcia asked her mother whether Amy and Patricia could stay over at her house Saturday night. Marcia asked her mother if Amy and Patricia could stay over at her house Saturday night. Empty. Empty. 空. The milk bottle is almost empty, so we'd better add milk to our grocery list. This adjective reminds me to remind you that some adjectives in English do not have a comparative, or superlative, empty is one of them. If something is empty, something cannot be more empty. There's nothing there. The same with full, which is the opposite word. If this glass is full, it cannot be fuller. If you put more milk into it, maybe, or water, it will run over. If it's full, it's 100%. If it's empty, it's 100%. No comparative, no superlative. 嗯，这是一个很重要的这个提醒哦，布鲁老师提醒大家，就是像呃，empty空啊这样的一个形容词，或者是像full满这样的形容词呢，它是不可能出现比较级跟最高级的，因为当它是空的，它就是空的，它不
那么这个礼拜的资讯补给站恐怕会是这个最有。用的前几名，因为呢，这个在英文里面，他如何描述亲戚哦，在这个呃，刚刚 Bruce 老师的介绍里提到，跟我们中文实在是有太大太大的不同了。所以呢，他刚刚举的例子哦，像我们讲到说，他这个兄弟姐妹所生的儿子，全部一律就是叫外甥。那么外甥女 niece 呢，就是指所有兄弟姐妹生的女儿，他全部用一个字就可以代替。所以呢，像这一类的一些不同呢，同学们这个礼拜不要错过听广播的话，你就会很有效率的、正确的用对了英文里面。And today, our part five quiz is going to help you to try to figure out some of the relationships in English too. So let's check our quiz today.、Mm. Who's who? Uh, here we're talking about: Is that your sister's brother?、Uh, you, you wouldn't say that. Is that your sister's friend or your cousin's friend? Who's who? And here we have who's who's who. Clever title, if I don't say so myself.、Uh, we're going to give you five examples of relationships in English. Let's take a look at the first one. Your wife's mother. In English, what do we call a person's, a married person's,、uh, that would be a husband's, his taida, his wife's mother. The husband calls his wife's mother, mother-in-law. And notice the spelling. We use hyphens between mother and in, and again, in and law. Your, if you're a man, your wife's father will be the father-in-law. Also, brother and sister. Your wife's brother, your wife's sister, are your brother-in-law and sister-in-law. Usually, we stop there. We have those four terms for in-laws. 嗯哼，好，我们来看到的第一题呢，讲到了你太太的妈妈，也就是我们说的岳母。那正确答案就是 mother-in-law， 因为呢，她就是因为法律的婚姻关系而带来的妈妈。那同样的，前面的妈妈换成爸爸或兄，或者兄弟或姐妹，他们这些全部就是我们所谓的姻亲。All right, let's look at number two. Your husband's brother. So if you're a woman and you marry, what do you call? Your husband's brother, like I just said, it will be an in-law. It's not your blood brother. It's not from your mother and father. It's your husband's family. That's why we use in-law when you get married. It's a legal relationship. It's a relationship in law. So we call him your brother-in-law. 好，所以呢，我们的第二题就出现了啊、哦，就是呢，你的这个先生的兄弟，那么这里只要把后面这个 hyphen in 再 hyphen law， 那其实就是指因为法律而带来的姻亲的这个兄弟，所以正确答案呢，第二题就是 brother-in-law。Now let's look at number three, your sister's daughter. We just mentioned that a bit earlier. It doesn't matter if it's your brother's or sister's daughter in English. We say niece. 好的。所以呢，这第三题呢，我们刚刚就讲到了哦，所有你兄弟姐妹所生的女儿，我们都用 niece 这个字就可以。Next is your son's daughter. So your son is one generation below you. Their sons and daughters are two generations below you. And then we begin to use grand. This is a daughter, so it's granddaughter. 是的，那么第四题，你的儿子所生的女儿，当然就是你的孙女。那么在这个字里面，我们会用到 granddaughter。And finally, your father's brother, simple, uncle, and it can be your mother's brother too. 嗯，那么第五题更简单，不管是爸爸或爸妈妈的这个兄弟呢，都叫做舅舅，就是 uncle。Okay, listen to that radio program, and you'll hear some more. Now let's watch the dialogue for the second time. Ed, why are we preparing these big suitcases for our trip? It's only two of us for a day, not even overnight. I know we're not taking much with us, 
But we have some time to go shopping while in Hong Kong, right? Uh, we may need the space for the things we buy there. Mm. Are you going to buy me a souvenir, Aunt Betty and Uncle Edward? Yeah, are you going to buy us souvenirs? Of course we are, darlings. Have you decided what you'd like? A cool t-shirt. A oh. yacht. A yacht? A yacht? Yeah, a model yacht. I like models, but I don't have one for a yacht yet. I plan with them in the bathtub. For a moment there. We'll see <laughs> what we can find, Tommy. We'll get you a cool t-shirt, Arthur. And now, let's put away the things we need for our trip. I've got our first aid kit and my toiletries kit already packed. Why do you need a first aid kit, Uncle Edward? Always be prepared, Tommy. You never know when you might cut yourself by accident or need some medicine in the middle of the night. I see. Well, I've got my cosmetics kit already packed too, and we should put out the clothes we'll be wearing tomorrow. We can pack them just before we leave so they don't get wrinkled. Um, Arthur, please hand me that black bag, would you? Sure, Uncle Edward. Here you go. What's this for? Well, we have some important work documents we have to take and our travel documents too. We first put them into separate folders and then into the black bag. This will be the carry-on bag for me. And I take my reading materials cosmetics kit and my purse into my carry-on bag. Sounds efficient. You two are really well prepared. Uh -huh. uh, Betty, uh, we should set aside our shoes and socks next to the suitcase mm -hmm. and put our clothes on hangers here in the closet so everything's ready to go. Okay. What time are you leaving? Um, we're leaving the house at 6. Check-in closes at 7, so we have to be there before then. Would you like us to stay over tonight? We can help you loan the suitcases in the morning. <laughs> That's nice of you guys, but the suitcases will be practically empty, so we won't need any help. Besides, tomorrow's a school day. Remember? Oh yeah, we tried to forget. <laughs> <laughs> really cute kids. <laughs> Join us next week. We're finally going to get off the ground, into the air, and out to Hong Kong, actually for the next three lessons or so. Don't miss it. Join us next week. Till then, bye-bye.